Are you serious? Are you serious this morning? There's stuff going on. First of all, you know, the video I just did was on Turkey and the 7.2 earthquake that has just literally shook up Turkey. Unfortunately, hundreds of homes and buildings have fallen over. We don't know exactly what the total damage is. But we, know, we do know confirmed 270 people are dead and there's still people missing. So let's pray for the people of Turkey because uh, this quake is devastating. It's right along the Turkey-Iranian border. But there is some biblical prophecy here because the Bible does say in Matthew 24, 7 that there will be wars and rumors of wars and there will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. It talks about nation shall rise against nation. And part of that reason that we're seeing these earthquakes is when there's a constant threat against Israel. And so when Prime Minister Erdogan pulled off all diplomatic relationships with Israel, pulling out of his ambassador and shutting down all chartered flights from Istanbul to um, um, Tel Aviv, Israel, and the threats and the speaking of the cause of war and, and, and meeting with uh, groups that are absolutely enemies with Israel, the, the new regime in Tunisia, Libya, and Egypt, um, instead of sitting down and meeting with the allies of Israel. So it's a confusing message, but that's what's been going on. Now, my book just came in, The Hosea Prophecy, shipping out a bunch of, there's a bunch of them today. They're already packaged, they're going out this afternoon. But I want to read to you from the uh, introduction, just a moment, because uh, I've been, a lot of folks have been inquiring about the book, wanting to know uh, when it's coming, is it ready? It is ready, it is here. Get your copy now. You can find out more about that at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's paulbegleyprophecy.com. Go to our website. Let me read to you the introduction. Uh, of course, the scripture bases the book is totally on the Hosea prophecy, which is Hosea chapter 4, verses 1, 2, and 3. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there's no truth nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land, and by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out, and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field, with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. That's in Hosea chapter 4, 1 through 3. Here's the introduction, and then we'll tell you about some birds that died in South Carolina and in Canada. People are frightened, really frightened. They may not be serving God, but they do fear that he is real and that there will indeed come a day when the world as we know it will end. To fear God is the beginning of wisdom. I'm a simple country preacher. I know God is real and that his son, Jesus Christ, is the coming back just as he said he would. No one knows the actual time, but there seems to be an abundance of signs lately that Christ may soon return with the sound of the trumpet. My concern is that so few people are ready. If someone could just alert people to the truth, all the signs are right where they've always been, in the Holy Bible. The only true source available to man. God has already revealed all we need to know within its anointed pages. It's just up to us to seek, to find, and to heed his words. The moment 2011 arrived, I boarded a roller coaster search through the Bible that keeps taking my breath away. I've been called to share this trip with as many people who are willing to join me. And I'm inviting you to embark with me on a journey, an incredulous journey, which spans the millenniums from ancient scripts of prophecy to the digital newsprint of modern-day events. What follows is a light-speed ride in the exploration of Scripture and the revealing of the Holy Spirit about this year's unfolding events. It began with birds, dead birds. That's the Hosea Prophecy Introduction, 19 chapters. I think you'll be blessed. Unbelievable. I talk about all the dead birds and fish and cattle and many other signs, the Middle East uprisings, 
many, many other biblical prophecies. There's a lot of scripture tied into events and revelation that God gave me, plus some personal stories of my childhood, my, some of my uh, teachings and experiences that I've had. It's a powerful book called the Hosea Prophecy, and you can get find out more about it there at uh, my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Now, speaking of the Hosea Prophecy and the, the dead birds, dead fish, dead cows, yesterday on October 22nd, 23rd, I think it was uh, October 22nd in South Carolina, I mean, birds just started dropping out of the sky everywhere. Fox News covered it. I seen a video on it. It was sent to me. They even mentioned the Hosea prophecy. Um, uh, birds falling out of the sky everywhere. And uh, it just shocked the residents down there in South Carolina. Now, yesterday, October 23rd, 2011, up in Ontario, Canada, not far from Montreal, 6,000 birds fell out of the sky dead. Unbelievable situation developing there in Canada. And uh, good, a good subscriber of Paul Begley 34, Anthony, who lives in Toronto, Canada, lives only 45-minute drive from where the birds fell. And today, he contacted me last night. We are actually on Facebook chatting for a little bit. And uh, he is going to drive out to where these birds have fallen and died mysteriously. And he's going to try to check out and see what he can find out, see if he can get some pictures or have they cleaned them all up. We don't know. And then he's going to call in today on my radio program. And you can listen to that today from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Liberty Broadcasting Network. That's www.LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com. So I just want you to know it's he's going to be an eyewitness account. There's already, you can read about it, you can Google it. There's 6,000 birds fell out of the sky and died mysteriously there in Ontario, Canada, just not far from Toronto. And of course, South Carolina the day before, the 22nd, or maybe it was the 23rd, I can't remember, but I think it was the 22nd. So you need to check these things out. The Hosea Prophet, I had somebody say to me, Paul, why are I'm sick and tired of hearing about your birds falling out of the sky. They're not my birds in the first place. I didn't cause 5,000 birds to fall out of the sky in BB, Arkansas, which I'll explain in the book. It wasn't me. The, the next day, they had 3,000 fall out of the sky in Texas. I didn't go around and cause the 2,000 that fell out of the sky the next day in Louisiana, and then Kentucky, and California, and Sweden, and Ireland, and Australia, and New Zealand. And then countless amounts of birds have been falling around the globe in different places. While that's been going on, that's right, the fish have been dying. 100,000 drum fish in the Arkansas River on New Year's Day. Two million fish in the Chesapeake Bay. I explained that. Se seven million fish at Redondo Beach, California. Are you serious? What? You're saying you don't understand. That's why you need to understand. This ancient biblical prophecy by the prophet Hosea nearly 3,000 years ago, he prophesied because there's no truth there's no mercy, and there's no knowledge of God in the land that the land is going to languish. Well, I break it down for you what it means by no truth, no mercy, or no knowledge of God in the land in the book, and I think that you should understand that's how close we're getting. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Uh, one more, more thing. These are these just You can find out about the stress ball. I double dog dare the devil. <laughs> so if you're sitting around and you're stressing out and just you know, squeeze on that devil and squeeze on that devil and squeeze on This doesn't give you power of the devil to sit around and squeeze on this little stress ball. But, if, uh, but it is a teaching tool. And that what it teaches you is that you have authority over the devil. If you've given your life to Jesus Christ, you have the authority. So just don't, don't, don't sit around and let him beat up on you. Just remind you, set it down by your computer, and as you're sitting around and you feel like you're stressed out, just, just pick that up. Double dog dare the devil, because you've got the power in the name of Jesus. You can find out more about these, where? At our website. Find out more about that and uh, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. If you're not saved, I want you to give your heart to Jesus. Send me a personal message. We've had two people saved yesterday, four at our home church. You can be saved today. Give me a message.